Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial for beginners and this is our part 5 of this video session series in which we will see that how can we list our all created post into our application. And also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made under this playlist. So in our last video session guys what we did we have made an application we have created the dynamic post from this model to our post section so let's make a, another test example post created by this model just i'm going to inspect that first and now let's say go to console tab let's say that this is our test article and this is our test description as well okay so just I am getting all, all these errors click on submit and this is status ok means the post has been created if you go to administrator panel just refresh this page and now this is the article that we have created from this model so these are the things that we did so far in this video session series guys and also if you want to get all the course that actually we have done from the starting then this is the github repository where actually i will place all the codes of online web tutor okay and this is the repository just you need to click on this and now you can find all the resources that i have uploaded into this repository okay so th these are the codes that i have uploaded if you go to assets just click on js just click on res.js and this is the code so far we did in this file okay so successfully you can grab all these codes from this repository okay I will drop this link into my description of this video okay so now what we are going to do in this video session first actually we want to make an alert after creating any post okay so let's say that alert post has been created okay and also we want that model should be hide itself okay or let's say that set timeout we want to reload the section of page after 1.2 second okay so let's say that location dot reload okay and now page reload itself after 1200 milliseconds okay so just save this file refresh this page click on create new post let's say that this is our latest post created okay and this is our sample content just I'm clicking on the submit button post has been created just click on ok and now the page has been reloaded itself as you can see just I'm going to click on this refresh icon and now this is the post that we have created so now what we want to do we want that all these posts that we have created in this WordPress post section we want to retrieve all these posts to our front-end application okay for now this is a dummy data that we have made as we go through index.php file just scroll down and this is the dummy data that we have put for now but we want that all the data is actually we will bind with this data table by these WordPress posts okay so just go to settings click on JSON API and now within this JSON API you can see under this core controller under this core controller there is a method called get posts just I am going to open into a new tab and now this is the URL which actually returns all the post into JSON format if we make copy of all this JSON data just make copy of that open json editor online.org just i'm going to paste all these json code right into this box okay let's make some formatting just click on that and now click on this icon this contains actually status count count total pages post so basically it contains six posts okay this is the post section post object which basically shows that it contains six posts okay just click on this icon and now these are the numbers index wise just I'm going to click on the first index so this is our post that is created and this is our latest post okay 
this is our latest post that we have created so step by step these are the six posts that we have created within this wordpress post so we want to grab all these posts by going through get post method of json api and this is the route link by going to this route link we actually access all these json objects into our application okay so just get started with these things so just go to editor first and go to rest.js let's make a function called function which basically loads all of our records okay so function load wp posts okay this is the function i am making and now what actually this function does basically let's say jquery dot post let's say that this is the url that we have made ajax url okay this is the variable that we have defined in the under this index.php file just scroll down and this is the variable and this is the site url which actually contains a url value which we have put into this config file right here okay so now what we are going to do just copy this ajax url paste within this bracket and let's say that instead of adding this ajax url we need to append with api get post just make copy of that and let's say that after getting ajax url means site url api slash get post and slash okay and nothing we want to pass into this route okay because in our last video session we have to pass the nonce value to create any new post okay so in this video we are not going to pass any of the extra parameter into this route so let's say that function just it actually takes the response from the server and give it to the back so let's say that console.log and this is the response variable so if we save this file just make copy of this function and let's make call this function inside this javascript just i am going to call this function okay so just save this file go to browser inspect your application just get rid of all this and let's refresh this page so basically as you can see that it returns the same object what actually we are getting right here okay basically it contains the objects like status count count total pages post and the query okay so all we can see in right here status count count total pages post if we click on this icon so these are the variables we need to look through with this post object and now we can grab all these created posts from this wordpress okay so let's do that so just go to application let's say that by getting this response object actually we want to retrieve the posts okay response dot posts this is the post which actually getting as a key right here okay so this is the key if you want to retrieve any of the posts then response this is the object actually we are getting and now we are picking a single object from this json object and this is post so if we want to retrieve the val values of this post then we make a call like response dot posts okay so if we just console this post sections only then just save this file refresh this page once more and now we can see that only these posts actually will appear under this console tab okay so we need to loop through each of these posts step by step okay so just get rid of that let's say that jquery dot each method we are going to use paste it as a post let's say that make an anonymous function which basically iterates over each and post okay let's say that index and this is our post okay so let's say that console for now let's make a console tab and let's say that post dot if you want to retrieve the post dot slug so post dot slug so just save this file and refresh so let's make a duplicate tab inspect that and let's refresh this page once more so basically as you can see these are the six slugs that it have given from these lists okay so now we have to retrieve instead of these slugs we need to retrieve the title description slug and so on okay so let's do that so just make a html variable let's say where 
HTML and let's say that we need to append all these things by iterating over each of the post okay so we want we need to wrap all these data into a TD okay this is the table data okay so we need to bind all the variables actually we are getting from our response into a TR okay this is the TR actually we need to iterate over so let's say that just go to index file let's make copy of all these things just I'm making copy of that open this file let's say that let's make some formatting to these values so now we have concatenated all these values into a single line so just make copy of all these things go to your JavaScript file and let's say that inside this HTML let's make paste it here okay so just replace with single quotes first just I'm pasting it here and now we have made a copy of all this row section all this row section okay the next thing that we need to do is to replace these static data with these values okay so just I'm going to paste the index value instead of this one okay so let's make single quotes let's say that index okay another value is that of title this is system architect as a title as you can see so now what we have to do to get the title just going to this tab open up our index and this is the title actually we are getting from just go right here and now it, this is the title okay so how can we retrieve this title simply just we need to call post dot title okay so just I'm going to replace these things with post dot title okay and now the next thing is to do is to we need to iterate over the description section as well because the third is the description section so now if we can see into this JSON response then we can see that this is the content section right here for the dis description box okay so we need to actually get this value so just put it single quotes let's say post dot content okay all we have done now now the next thing is to do is to take the value of slug and now this is the slug okay so to get the slug let's say that within the single quotes plus to concatenate and let's say that post dot slug okay so these are the values that we have made dynamic and then now next thing is publish is the self okay and edit and as well as delete button okay so inside this edit button we need to pass the ID of the post so let's say that data ID and inside this data ID variable let's say that within the single quote and let's say that post dot this is the ID of post individual ID of the post okay so let's say that post dot ID this ID is actually beneficial for our upcoming videos when actually we delete or edit any of the individual posts from this table data row so just make copy of that and paste inside this delete button as well so when we save this file and also we need to replace all these things just remove from this T body okay and now let's say that instead of let's say T body is to close okay we need to give an ID of 2 T body let's say that table data okay so just make copy of this ID go to your JavaScript file and let's say that jQuery this is the ID of our table and we need to replace all these HTML contents with this HTML variable so just paste inside this so if we go to our browser refresh this page and now we can see these all posts actually we are getting from this WordPress okay so also if you want to create any of the new post just click on create new post let's say that online web tutor second post and this is how we define to list any data from WordPress okay just click on submit post has been created and now you can see that online web tutor second post and this is how we define list data so these are the simple steps guys that we need to follow to list all the created WordPress post in from this WordPress dashboard 
to our application and also we have index equal to 0 so just we need to remove all these things let's say that index plus 1 this index is basically because of we are getting here if you can understand that this is the index and this is i j 0 basically this is the index so we need to make increment of 1 okay so when we save this file just refresh this page and now 1 1 okay this is not actually concatenating let's say so just save this file go to browser and let's refresh this page so now it is right here one two three four five six seven we have created seven wordpress post by our application okay and also if we inspect inspect this edit button as well then we can find that we have id of this post that is 17 okay as well as we can see that here is the id of delete button as well so when we go to a database just go to wordpress post and now if we click on descending order so these are the ids that actually we are getting to our edit as well as delete button okay so from our upcoming videos guys we can see that how can we actually we want to delete post as well as update post so how can we achieve those tasks by using this json api plugin okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day